y'all in today's video i will be installing and styling this unit that i received from xrs beauty hair this is their 13 by 6 clear undetectable lace wig i got it in the texture body wave and the density of this wig is 200 percent density also i got this unit in 20 inches So first thing I like to do is go in and cut my ear tabs off on each side of the lace and you want to make sure you cut the lace just above your ear where it sits perfectly on top of your ear. lace into three sections and I'm gonna work on each section separately starting with the middle section and I love doing it this way because I just find it easier when I'm focusing on only one section of the lace while I'm applying my lace down to lay my lace down I'm using the bold hold active glue and I'm applying two layers of that glue to lay our lace down so when I lay my lace down I make sure that the hairline on the unit is laid directly on top of where I applied the glue
my elastic band and my blow dryer in the medium heat setting. And I'm doing this process just so I can get that extra melted lace look and just so that the lace can be nice and flat as well. And I do this process for about five minutes. To cut my lace, I'm going in with my Kiss Razor and I'm going to cut my lace in sections as well. And I love using the razor because it just gives the lace more of a natural jagged type of look. I'm going in with my Eben melting spray and I'm going to just relay the areas that did not fully glue down the first time. I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses cream foundation in the color level 15. And this product really helps to make the lace look more natural and the product just mesh so well with my skin tone. I decided to do a deep side part with this wig and since this wig had so much lace on it I felt like it was the perfect style when it comes to doing a deep side part you want to make sure that when you are parting the hair you are curving the part as well to get that deep look To mold my hair down and get that nice flat foundation on this wig, I'm going in with my Carrot Care Wax Stick. Right after I apply my wax stick, I love to go in and take my brush and take the blow dryer on the hottest heat setting and basically just brush the hair down and try to flatten it as much as possible. I feel like this step is a big game changer when it comes to getting the foundation of your wig to be nice, flat, and neat. Afterwards, I'm gonna go in with my hot comb on the hottest heat setting, and I'm just gonna go over my wig and just really flatten that wig down. Now it's time to actually style the wig. So before doing that, I'm gonna go in with my Cheese Silk Infusion Serum and I'm just applying that throughout the hair. I feel like this product really gives the hair like that moisturized, silky type of look. But also try not to apply too much of this product or any product in general because it can weigh the hair down as well. So the look that I'm going for is to have like a nice strong swooped curl but only towards the end of the hair. You'll see like the end results but I had like a certain vision in my head. 
to get into our baby hairs and with my baby hairs I always try to go for that natural light baby hair type of look so I did go in and tweeze it just a little bit and cut the baby hair right above my eyebrows. I'm going in with my mini flat iron and I love to curl my baby hairs because I feel like it gives the baby hairs more of like a soft, fluffy baby hair type of look.
to lay my baby hairs down, I'm going in with my Got To Be High Hold Spray. And I just apply it right on top of my edge brush. And then I go in and just swoop the baby hairs like that. So my opinion about this wig, I really do like the quality of this hair. Even the lace is like top notch. And just in general, I just feel like the quality of this hair is really good. I've had XRS Beauty hair before. I had it in the straight texture. And the wig lasted me for an entire year. And it still looked good. So I was super excited to try the hair again. And honestly, I'm still satisfied with the quality of this hair. The hair is pretty soft and I also did not experience any tangling with this hair initially. So for the finishing touches of this wig, I'm gonna go back in with my Care Wax Stick. Then I'm gonna go back in with my brush and then I'm gonna also go back in with my hot comb just to make sure that the foundation of this wig is nice and flat. So here is the final look of this wig. Unfortunately, the last clip on my camera had got deleted, so I did record it on my phone and I absolutely love the way that this style came out.